This is a sneak peek of Concepts and Challenges Science. This is for grades 6th, 7th, and 8th. 6th grade will be learning Life Science. 7th grade will be learning Earth Science. And 8th grade will be learning Physical Science. Today, we're going to look at Earth Science. When you receive your materials, you'll receive a teacher's edition, a student textbook, a laboratory manual, and a uh, teacher's guide and answer key to the laboratory, to the laboratory manual. We'll start looking at the teacher's guide. It's very typical to any other teaching guide. Um, I'll just show you some of the highlights that you'll probably use this for uh, the most. At the beginning of each chapter, it does have a nice planning guide here. And this planning guide will give you an idea of how, uh, how long the chapter will be, how many days the lesson might take. So for chapter one, it's saying that this chapter should take approximately 9 to 12 days. So you'll see in chapter 1 that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 lessons. So typically you'll be doing one lesson a day. And then you'll have 3 days left over for your lab activity and for any other um, assessments or reviews. When you, uh, let's see, so when, again, it's going to show you what the student sees here in the middle. This is what the student textbook looks like. And then this is going to be your teacher notes around the outside. So if you're doing most of the teaching and introducing the chapter or the concept, it gives you some uh, good notes to follow. You, follow excuse me. Um, an introduction that you can use, how to teach the material, some different teaching options along the bottom, an assessment piece, and then how to close the activity. When it talks about teaching resources online, there is a, um, they have a website called uh, conceptsandchallenges.com. And if you go to their website, you'll see that there's a student portal and there's also a teacher's resource uh, portal. And so within those online portals, you'll be able to find uh, more uh, worksheets or reviews. It's where I believe you'll find your assessments, um, scoring rubrics. They have some different scientific articles and dictionaries and so a lot of other resources that you may want to check out on conceptsandchallenges.com. So again, whenever they reference the teaching resources, they're talking about going online to access those resources. Um, one other thing is it's laid out where each lesson is just two pages, so you have all your information for the day in one spot, which is nice. So this would be lesson two. Um, another thing I wanted to mention is all your assessment questions. So the questions that they're seeing in their textbook that they're uh, writing out or trying to find the answer to, you have the answer key here in the teaching um, in the instruction manual. Okay, so you'll see that each lesson looks the same. It's all formatted the same with all your different ideas here or just more material on how to teach the lesson or enhance the lesson. And then you'll see as they as you get to the end of the chapter you're going to have a lab activity. And a lab activity, um, there's going to be a lab activity at the end of every chapter. So in 
earth science, there's 18 chapters. So your student will have an opportunity to do 18 lab activities. So here's the instructions for that, the materials that you need, your answers. Um, one thing I would encourage is that if you feel you do not have the time or the materials to do all the lab activities, I would encourage that you type in the name of the lab activity into YouTube. Um, I would bet that more than not you will find another teacher or another student who has done this exact same experiment and um, I think you know for best teaching procedures and practice that if your student can at least watch it even if they can't do it themselves if they can watch the activity being done it just makes for good instruction so I would encourage you to at least find a video on these lab activities if you can't do them yourself Then for the close of the chapter, you'll have what they call as challenges. Um, to me, it looks like more of a review or like a test prep or even just a test itself that goes over the whole chapter. And again, here's where you'll have the answer key to it and um, your student will be seeing the middle portion in their textbook. So they'll be finding the answers. Uh, to review their knowledge of the first chapter. So I'll just go ahead and flip through here just so you can kind of see the rest of it, but it's all formatted the same way. Okay. So let's take a look at the student guide or the student text. So what the student will see, and you might find that um, what the student reads here on their own is going to be enough. Uh, they do offer enough you know, comprehension questions, review questions, and activities that your student might be able to just do this on their own, read, um, you know, they'll be able to see what their objective is and what the key terms are. They'll be able to read their portion for the day, and then um, I would encourage that they keep a science journal or a science notebook, and they just write out, you know, um, the the questions, the review questions at the bottom. They can just write them in their journal. They can do their thinking critically answers in their journal, and then they can just say, "Here you go, mom," and then you can check them that night or check them with check the answers you know, with them at that time, and call it good. So you may find that your student can just do this on their own. Again, it's a two-page format, so their whole day, their whole lesson is just right here. They're not having to flip back and forth through pages. Um, you'll see that it will give, at the end of each lesson, it'll give them like this one's a, a web search, so it might give them an activity on the web to extend their learning. Um, how to, this lesson is how to integrate the life science. You'll see um, sometimes they tie in some investigate, so they're doing another hands-on project um, for that lesson of the day. Nice pictures, I think, pretty colorful. Looks like some good information. Okay. And again, it looks the same throughout each, each lesson. Just sometimes a different activity, and obviously there's gonna be different information each day. Okay, and then towards the end here, they'll get to their lab activity. So there's the um, student view, gives them a materials list, gives them the procedure, and they can go ahead and do their lab activity. Now it does come with this lab manual, and you may find it useful, you may not, it's optional. 
but if you go to the page here that corresponds with their lab activity you'll see that there's just um, a worksheet that kind of goes with the lab that they can fill out as they're doing their experimenting and you know, recording what they're finding, their results. Okay, so and there's a worksheet for each lab activity here. And to go again, to go with this is more instructions here and an answer guide that just strictly deals with your lab activity. Okay, and then finally we get to the challenges, which there's, um, you know, finding vocabulary words that, that deal with, with the lesson. You have some matching, identifying word relationships, multiple choice. So again, you can use this as your review or as your assessment for the end of the chapter. Or you can go online to the challenges, uh, conceptsandchallenges.com and find the chapter one assessment and print that out and give that to your student if you would like. And then you are on to chapter two. I'll flip through the rest of the student book here so you can just get a visual. And it's all laid out in the same way. Okay, so there is your sneak peek of the Concepts and Challenges Science. If um, this interests you or if you have further questions, please contact me, Star Williams, at 503-758-3636.